be in focus. Let's also talk about Asian Paints, which will be reporting numbers today. Manglam is here with the preview. Manglam. Well, Asian Paints has been under pressure for a while. The stock's now down about 20%, a little more than 20% from its 52-week uh, high as well. Valuations too have cooled off to closer to 48 times FY25 earnings. What is it that the street is working with this time around? Post-festive season, there was a bit of a demand lull. So, in this quarter, that will play out. And secondly, Kansai and Erolak reported double-digit volume growth. So, chances are, as the leader, Asian Paints may report double-digit volume growth in their decorative part of the business as well. What is the street working with? 3% jump in their overall revenues, 9,050 crores on the top line. We're looking at a 19% jump in the EBITDA. That would imply a margin improvement of almost 300 basis points, uh, nearly 21.5%. And the net profit grows by about 9% to 1,370 crores. Why is it that the revenue grows 3% and the volumes are expected to be double-digit? That's because the company has taken a few price cuts because raw material prices have come down and at the same time they are looking to you know increase their market share and presence ahead of competition coming by as well so we're looking at price mix decline of around three to five percent and 300 to 350 basis points cross margin improvement which will perhaps be reinvested into branding and all the other activities as well management commentary as always will be extremely crucial this time more so because we have uh, all the details out from Grassin's uh, paint business as well Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Manglam, for joining us with what to expect from Asian Pains. By the way, both these numbers are expected during market hours today. Time for another break. When we come back, we'll get you more on the markets on the other side and a special chat lined up with the leadership of Motilal Oswal AMC as well. Stay tuned for that.